Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we will be talking about the Fed's upcoming policy decision which is due on Wednesday, July 26. Uh, a, hike, a rate hike is largely priced in by markets but there is greater uncertainty around the outlook past that and this will be the, the important uh, thing before however we delve into all of that as always please go ahead and read carefully through the risk warnings and the disclaimers. Okay, let's get uh, the ball uh, rolling. Uh, we're going to start with the current policy backdrop where we stand at this stage. Then we will move into the state of the US economy. And then we will discuss about what's expected for the uh, upcoming decision. And past that, what's the policy outlook uh, after, like after uh, this meeting? So the Fed has implemented a hyper-aggressive tightening cycle since the May 22 liftoff, which has brought rates at the current 5.25%. Given the massive amount of hikes, though, in such a short period of time, and given their lagging nature, meaning the time uh, they need to filter through to the economy, policymakers decided to keep rates unchanged in, unchanged in June, in order to assess additional information and uh, the implication for monetary policy. However, the central bank did not speak of a terminal rate, and in fact, Fed officials upgraded their views on the appropriate policy path. Uh, they see uh, the median terminal rate at 5.6% this year, as you can see uh, here. This is the, the, these are the projections uh, from the Fed uh, back in June. So the, as you can see on the bottom left corner, the, the terminal rate, the median terminal rate is projected at 5.6% this year from 5.25 current. So that implies an additional 50 basis points of hikes. Of course, this is not uh, what the Fed will do, is where officials see rates going. So it's not... Uh, uh, mandatory for them to follow that. Since that uh, decision and that and these projections, uh, we have seen mostly hawkish comments. Uh, and although Sir Powell did not really ever validate that dot plot, that 250 uh, basis points hikes, uh, he did become increasingly hawkish since that decision. In fact, let's Go ahead and listen at what he had to uh, say about future hikes back in uh, Sintra a few weeks ago at the ECB uh, Sintra Forum. Now, we, we only think, the only thing we decided was not to raise rates at the June meeting. We have not made a decision to go to that. It may work out that way. It may not work out that way. But I wouldn't take you know, moving at consecutive meetings off the table at all. So that was uh, Sir Powell, and uh, what he said there, uh, he spoke of, he kept the door open to back-to-back -back rate increases, and that's essentially the closest he, the closest he has come to, he has come to uh, embracing the dot plot. Of course, that uh, these comments were before the last NFPs and the last CPI inflation report. Uh, of course, not everyone is, the, in, the, is in the hockey cab. We have seen some uh, divergences and some more dovish comments with um, Mr. Goolsby from, Chicago, from Fed of Chicago leading that pack, a voter, of course. 
Now, the reason for the aggressive stance and prospects of further tightening is the fact that inflation is still far from target, the economy is strong, and the labor market tight. So let's uh, talk a little bit about, really quickly, about the, the latest economic data. The US economy is performing better than expected, and GDP grew by 2% in the first quarter of the, of the year, having been revised higher. That was another revision higher, so that's why uh, we say that uh, the economy keeps beating expectations. Of course, GDP is just a measure, and some believe that it's, it may not even be the best uh, in such a big economy such as the United uh, States. Uh, now, the other thing is the very tight labor market, because, because despite some, some signs of cooling, uh, labor conditions are very tight. Unemployment remains close to its five decades lows and ticked down in June while wages are, are elevated. So it's hard for the Fed to abandon its uh, policy firming cycle with such a strong um, labor market. And in fact, let's listen again at Chair Powell from the ACB uh, forum a few weeks back and what he had to say in regards to uh, the strong uh, labor market driving um, tightening prospects. Let's go ahead and listen to that. So we believe there's more restriction coming. And what's really driving it, uh, you know, to uh, Andrew's point and Christine's as well, is very strong labor market. So Mr. Paul here uh, essentially said that the main driver for the need for more tightening is uh, the strong labor market. And of course, the other part of the Fed's mandate and the one that it's focusing on uh, is inflation, which is still far from the 2% target and core is very uh, sticky. However, the latest uh, data earlier in July showed significant deceleration, both in headline, which is to 3% year over year from four prior, and it was the lowest in more than two years. And the stickier core also moderated notably to 4.8% from 5.3% previously, and that's the lowest since late 2021. Uh, so... Definitely good development there for the Fed, but it's essentially just one print and may not be uh, enough. So having said that, let's go ahead and talk about uh, where we stand now. The upcoming decision is on Wednesday, July 26, at 16 GMT, and traditionally... Uh, Chair Powell's press conference follows 30 minutes later. Baseline estimates and market pricing calls for a restart of the hiking cycle with a quarter percentage point increase that would save rates at 5.5%. This is also in line with the Fed's messaging. And given that it has always tried to not surprise market, any deviation looks uh, very hard. Uh, so, of course, we don't know what's going to happen until it actually happens, but it could constitute a big surprise if the Fed doesn't hike as um, expected. There is, however, greater uncertainty as to what happens next, and that is where focus is going to be. Uh, is um, both in terms of the statement and in terms of Mr. Powell's uh, press conference. Is he going to give us any hints as to what come, come after that? Uh, so as I said, that's, it's quite uncertain. Inflation is coming down, but achieving the 2% goal without the labor market cooling significantly, and we're not there yet, uh, would defy the Philip curves essentially. And the avoidance of substantial economic slowdown, which has been avoided so far, would essentially validate the immaculate disinflation uh, scenario, essentially uh, 
uh, achieving, uh, bringing inflation down, but without harming the economy and the labor market. The Fed essentially believes that there is a narrow path to that, and the doves like Mr. Goolsby definitely seem to be embracing uh, this immaculate disinflation uh, scenario. After the so after the um, uh, uh, speaking on CNBC after the the last NFPs, uh, Mr. Goolsby said that he feels the central bank is on that golden path. That's what he said to achieve uh, its inflation goal without a recession. Um, now, on the other hand, the Fed has been burned before. Back in February, Mr. Powell spoke a lot about the disinflation, the disinflationary process that is underway, but that proved quite premature and stopped using the term after a while. Given the above, it's likely that officials and Mr. Powell in the press conference uh, will be cagey. They will want to keep the door open to more tightening, but without committing to more moves. And again, it's being pulled essentially in different uh, directions. The last uh, CPI report was very encouraging, and this may take some of the edge off, but still um, any signs that it's ready to stop um, may um, uh, cause problems uh, later on and not actually uh, and, and be reversed essentially later on. And adding to that, the next decision is not until uh, a month, uh, more than a month. Uh, the next decision is in mid-September, and um, it's a long time during which officials will have the chance to um, assess many data points and make the decision then. So to sum things uh, up, the next decision on July 26th, uh, a rate hike of 0.5 of 0.25 percent is priced in by markets, so it would be a surprise uh, if uh, we don't get that. And so, focus shifts as to what happens next. On the one hand, uh, the last inflation print was good, and that could uh, lead to a less aggressive stance. Markets definitely are very optimistic; they see. Uh, uh, one and done, essentially, in terms of uh, hikes. But on the other hand, uh, the, the labor market remains tight and the economy is strong, and it will be hard for the, the Fed to uh, stop hiking or at least to signal that. Um, so definitely there is an uncertain uh, policy outlook. So that's it for me. Thank you for joining me.